TU100 My Digital Life Sense and Sense Ability Selection, also known as branching, occurs in a computer program when the instructions to be executed depend on the situation. The circumstances that determine each possible course of action are formulated as Boolean expressions, which you met in previous videos. In the context of selection, such an expression is often referred to as a Boolean condition because what gets executed next is conditional on the value of the Boolean expression. All modern programming languages provide programming constructs to implement selection. In sense, selection is provided by these blocks, and we'll now look at each of these in turn. The if block is located in the control palette and looks like this. As you can see, the block has a hexagonal recess denoted by these angled brackets in the text that accept a hexagonal block. Such blocks are Boolean expressions, such as those formed by using the comparison blocks, less than, greater than, and so on. So the angled brackets denotes the position of the if block's Boolean condition. The curly brackets denote the jaws of the if block. Other blocks can be inserted between the jaws of this block. An if block works as follows. Sense evaluates the Boolean condition in the hexagonal recess. If the result is true, Sense executes any blocks between the jaws of the if block. If the result is false, Sense ignores any blocks between the jaws and moves to the next block in the stack, if there is one, below the lower jaw. By the time you completed the last polygon drawing program, it was fairly sophisticated, but it can now be improved. The current version of the program will attempt to draw a polygon with any number of sides. However, there are no polygons with fewer than three sides, so it would be preferable to restrict the number of sides to three or more. This is the focus of what we're going to do now. So launch Sense and open Project 15 in this Session 3 subfolder of the Sense Programming Guide folder and immediately save it with the underscore SOL at the end. Make sure that the pointer is selected. On the control palette, find the if block and drag and drop it onto an empty space in the scripting pane. Drag a less than block from the operator's palette into an empty space in the scripting pane and now drag the sides variable from the variables palette and drop it into the first input box of the less than block. Enter the number three into the second input box of the less than block. So it looks like this. In English, the Boolean expression represented by this block reads, the value of sides is less than three. So when this expression is evaluated, it will give true if the value of the sides is less than three or false if the value of the sides is not less than three. Take the sides less than three block and drop it into the hexagonal recess of the if block. So it looks like this. We now need to specify what the program should do if the user enters a number of sides that's less than three. And a simple way to handle this is to set the value of sides to three so that the program will draw triangles by default. Go to the variables palette and drag and drop a set block between the jaws of the if block. Use the blocks drop down menu to select sides in the first input box, then change the value in the second input box to three. The if block should now look like this. Now drag the completed if block into the script and place it directly under the first set block, the one that sets sides to the number entered by the user. Having decided on this restriction, it's sensible to advise the user of it in advance of their input. So change the message in the first set block to this. Save the project. Run the program a number of times, entering values for the number of sides that are more than, less than and equal to three. Let's just take a minute to reflect on what's happening here. If an if block's boolean condition evaluates to true, any blocks between its jaws are executed. In this program, if the number of sides entered by the user is less than three, that is, if the condition sides is less than three is true, then the number of sides is reset to three. The block set sides to three is executed. 
After that, Sense moves to the next block in the stack after the end of the IF block. In this case, it then proceeds to ask the user for the number of polygons and then do the drawing. If an IF block's Boolean condition evaluates to false, none of the blocks between its jaws are executed and the program will jump to the next block in the stack after the end of the IF block. Here, if the number of sides entered by the user is three or more, that is if the condition sides is less than three is false, then sense immediately moves to the next block in the stack after the end of the first if block and asks the user for the number of polygons and so on. The program now uses a variable in a Boolean expression, that is sides is less than three. This illustrates the real power of Boolean expressions in programming. They enable programs to take different actions dependent on circumstances, here the number that's entered by the user. And these are circumstances that are not known when the program is constructed. That's all for this video. In the next video we'll look at the if-else block. Bye for now.